if you just consider that they looked at a pharaoh as, as a god and man, you know, the obvious thing is that someone considers that those images have power. And so by defacing them in a particular way, notice they, they're, they're selective. <coughs> Uh, you know, one of the things that's interesting, just looking at this wall where I'm pointing here, is as you go up, the desecration goes until uh, the last top level. Do y'all know what a ankh is by now? So they're they're at the base of these columns. Uh, it's the it's also called the key of life. I'm pointing at one there. I'm pointing at one here. Have you noticed in some of the temples where, uh, with the pharaoh, which I, I see as an initiate, that the ankh is being placed at the mouth or it's being placed in the nostrils or in the forehead? Obviously, you, we're seeing things that aren't physically taking place, so they're, they're either symbolic or they're representational of things that go on in other levels so that what's being taught when someone is walking in here to look upon the walls is things that are going on in uh, not this world but the other worlds.